we have arrived at our free camp just outside Barrow Creek. It is called Jeffy's or Joffy's. Jeffy's or Joffy's. Free camp. Um, it's about probably 5Ks north side of Barrow Creek. But it's free. It, it's all right. Uh, plenty of space. Um, very rocky. Lots of spots to have fire, but not a lot of firewood. So the kids are a bit devo because they've been hunting all arvo. But that's all right. There'll be more free camp. So we'll pick up a bag of wooden Alice Springs and just cheat a little bit because <laughs> chainsaw needs fixing and blah blah blah. <laughs> so uh, what? No, no. <clears throat> this is kitchen views. Take you outside the front door. It's gonna be a crack of sunset. You staying? You coming? We're having a fire. Maybe. Are you getting? Are you coming? Or are you staying in there? Look at my. Uh... I will help you in a minute. <sighs> All right. Let me spin you around. I'll show you where we are. Da, 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 da. I reckon the colours on those heels will be pretty good. And out my window, I'm going to get sunrise up there tomorrow morning. So it should be pretty good. <coughs> Bright light. And just out that driveway there is the main highway. Yeah, you're probably going to get a little bit of traffic noise, but... We were in Darwin for five months right next to the airport, so we were getting aeroplanes all the time, so a bit of traffic and noise doesn't bother us. But yeah, plenty of space. As you can see, another caravan just over there. And then there's another one up behind us as well. So yeah, there we have it. That's our free camp for the night. Uh, I'm sure Jeremy's going to chuck up the drone and show you a bird's eye view. all my prep but anyway I'll show you how to make pizza another day so there's one of the pizzas and the other one is in the Weber but check out this view man yeah. it's not every day you have a dining table view like this as dad would say it's Becky and you know what I like about it it's free it yeah cost a cent Camp here. It Everything doesn't cost money though. Not this, it doesn't. Not this, it doesn't. Free. Just the hundreds of dollars in petrol Look instead to get here. Or diesel. Free camp. Let me have you a quick. A quick um, view of the colours. So you got the sun setting over those hills over there. And then over here, <clears throat> behind us. I like when it's zero dollars. 
pretty good, lots of space. There's a caravan behind us and there's one over that side as well. Oh. All right, now we've done drilling over the views and the colors of the sky, let's have a look at what's happening in the weather. Oh, I reckon she's probably just about ready. Get in my belly. Scoop her up. Hopefully I don't trip over as I'm walking this over. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Whose pizza is that? That's Us. mine. All the kids, but the kids usually only eat one or two pieces. Or five. I've ate a whole pizza before. At Man's place. Alright. Cut this up. Serve oh. it up. Get it in half. Eat her up. It's black. Can't see myself now, so I'm not sure what's happening. And we're going to try and do a bit of a fire and see how long this wood lasts for and possibly roast some marshies. All right, let's go have some We got tea. our whole tree. Yes, yes, yes. Yay, yay, yay. Right. Thank you. you. Like? Munge. Mungy bungee. Wait. Would you like a soda water? Yes, please. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Because I can. No, you can't. Hey, that's my line. Just eat up, up before I eat and you'll have nothing left. Oh, wait, you don't eat my pizza. Mm. Exactly. And your pizza? No. Your pizza is yummy. Gee, how was that sunrise? That was pretty awesome. I had a good, I had a good uh, view out of my window. I had a view of all of this, all of these ranges here, and the colours that it was producing was just unbelievable. Daniel had the sunrise side. It was still, it was still good, but I reckon I had better, better side. But anyway, yeah, we're leaving uh, Joffy's today, uh, heading towards Alice Springs. So we're going to spend a couple of days in Alice Springs babe yeah so we're all packed up ready to go what, what do you reckon about Joffy's campsite it's all right it's all right I don't know it's just yeah sunrise and sunset's good yeah <laughs> it's a good it's a good free camp it's yeah and you still get phone reception here from Barry Creek yeah we, we had full 3g didn't we yeah yeah, full 3G. So it's enough to, um, you know, but if get you want, in touch with the outside world. If you want campfires, you need to bring your own food. Yeah, there's not much. There's not much uh, firewood around. So uh, if if you want campfires, yeah, bring bring your own stuff. We we managed to find just enough to roast some marshmallows last night. So yeah. All right, it's going to be a good day because uh, the kids are being feral this morning. So it's going to be a good day. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how we go. All right, let's let's go to Alice Springs. <sighs> so one of the fuel stops before Alice Springs is. <sighs> Kids are so feral today. It's one of those days. So one of the fuel stops is Tea Tree. Uh, we're going to be a little bit shy of making it of what we've got in the car so far. So I'll just put, I'll put oh, about 25 litres in, which will get us to Alice Springs. Um, so it's, Alice Springs is around about 190 k's from Tea Tree, so 
that should be enough and then I've got the 20 litres in the back if I need to if we encounter a headwind but always keep enough fuel on board on worst case scenario so because it is quite expensive here I think today it's like $2.40 or $2.45 a litre which is quite a bit but that's what you get for being in Central Australia and then when you hit Alice Springs it's $2.10 so we just put enough fuel in to get to Alice Springs. So, uh, right. Kids are being feral. Ma, hi. 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 You guys are being feral today. You know what I'm going to do? You're going to hit me with a wooden spoon, like no. Dan used to do. <laughs> no. No, I wouldn't do that. But the thing is, is I will drop you off at the next the 80 kilometer on the side of the road at the next 80 kilometer sign <laughs> and then that bus <laughs> and then that bus goes back to darwin and you can stay in darwin yeah Ooh. done all right all right next stop alice springs yay oh far out flies are a little bit thick we are at the shh no nah, i'm not ready for you yet we're at the Tropic of Capricorn. So this distinguishes the four seasons. Summer, autumn, winter, spring. Flies. And cold, oh, I'm sorry, the wet and the dry season. Oh, no flies. Right, so there's a little bit of a story behind the Tropic of Capricorn. Uh, Tori doesn't know how to say it correctly, so every other time she calls it Tropic of Caracorn. Caracorn. So I'll, I'll put some footage in here and I'll show you. Let's go and find out what it is. Do you know what it is? Yeah, Tropic of Caracorn. Caracorn? <laughs> right, okay. Right. Do you know where we are? Tropic of Caracorn. Yeah, good job. Rightio, Tori. So, the test is, is can you say where we are? So, hang on. Can you say where we are? Tropical of Caracorn. Say it again properly. Tropical of Caracorn. Tropical of No, nah, you've had your chances. She still can't say the bloody thing. She said it this morning. Yeah, she said it this morning because she knew that we were coming here. Now you can't say it. It's not Caracorn. All I can say now, Capricorn. Capricorn. Yeah, well, yeah, it only took you like half hour. Capricorn. Capricorn. Yeah, anyway. Capricorn. Yeah, we know you can say it. No, you can say a lot. All right, Tropic Capricorn. Down and that. Oh, there's a big plane up there. You see that? You That'd just be taking off from Alice Springs. So we're only like twenty odd k's from Alice Springs. Not that far. Thank God, because I'm just about out of fuel. It's going to start beeping soon, so. And we just went through a huge whirly wind. Yeah, a huge whirly wind. Like, Lifted one of the hatches on top of the cave, eh? It was massive. We nearly went on the <laughs> other side of the road. Oh, it, gee, you're dramatic, just like your mother. All right. I've got yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. You said we wouldn't make it. I said we oh, would. Yeah. Don't, please don't, don't start. Not in front of the camera, all right? Watch out for this car, man. Yeah. So nine liters in the tank. I, I was I right. knew, I knew that should be dinging, like to say low fuel. No, no. You, you, you said. Oh, right, just. I'm probably gonna need to put the twenty liters. All right, but anyway, anyway. Right, here's Anzac Hill. All right. Uh, we've been up here quite a few times before. Elijah. No, Holly. No. 
we've been up here quite a few times before. Every time we come to Alice Springs, we come to Anzac Hill because it's cool. Um, and you get to see uh, uh, an overview of Alice Springs. So well, it's pretty cool, I reckon. Normally and, sunset's a better time. Yeah, sunset's a better time. Uh, far out, it's a bit of a bit of a steep sort of climb. But uh, it's all good in a two-wheel drive. And I'm going to quiz Holly on the flags. See if she remembers from last Australia. time. Australia! Yeah, that's one of them. Oh my gosh, my legs! <sighs> well, that was hard work. <laughs> so many stairs. Alright, burger. Last time we were in Alice Springs, I don't know when it was. 12 months ago. 12 months ago, or roughly. Just over. Right, so hopefully you remember this from 12 months ago. So let's start on the first flag. First flag is what? Australia. Right, what about this one over here? What's that? That one? Yep. Torres Strait. No, no, it's not. No, um, Northern Territory. Northern Territory flag. What's that one? That one? Yeah. Torres Strait. What's that one? Aboriginal. Aboriginal flag. You got eight out of ten. What? You said that one was tied straight off the start. <laughs> Righty, eh? So, we're only spending one day, one full day in Alice Springs. And we're going to go and do what we enjoyed probably last time we were in Alice Springs. Well, one of the times we've been in Alice Springs. And that's the West McDonald Ranges. So, last time we were here in Alice Springs, we did the east. And now we're doing the West, which we've already done before, but we enjoyed it that much. We're gonna go back and do, we're gonna do some walks and explore the West McDonald Ranges. What do you reckon, kiddies? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Cool. But of course, first things first, what do you gotta, you gotta get coffee. Coffee from Macca's, especially when they're free. I like it when they're free. It's you good. free coffee for a year. Yeah, that'd be all right. Free coffee for a year, far out. Oh, that would be awesome. All right, so we're going to go and explore West McDonald Ranges, um, and um, I reckon we're going to see some pretty specky sites. So, oh, to go out there, because NT have done this thing now where you need National Parks Pass. I think it was 25 bucks for a family. What? Yeah, 25 bucks just to get in there. And I think one of the walks that if you want to do, I think it's Stanley Chasm. No, we haven't. We've been there, but we haven't done the walk because Tori was only a little baby. Mm. And, yeah, little right. Baby. So, and to do that walk, I oh, think you got to pay extra on top on top of your national parks pass. So, what? we'll suss all of that what? out when we're there. What? That is one of the walks that we want to do is Stanley Chasm. So, um, we'll suss it out. All right. Um, hopefully the coffee's here soon because I'm just about dead. Um, <laughs> So, uh, all right, let's go and have a look at the West McDonald Ranges in Alice Springs. do the walk all the way from obviously here at Stanley Chasm and you can do the walk all the way down to the birthday water hole so obviously self-explanatory so there you go you've got all your, all your distances and, and how long it takes so about eight and a half hours well, there's plenty of little um, campgrounds along the way where you can yeah. camp overnight 
But we're not doing that. No. We're gonna just go and see the chasm, aren't we? Yep, so we're gonna go, I'm guessing, to the kiosk to pay for that one. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? So, uh, this, you can also camp, you can also camp here. Unsure on fees, I'll suss that out, but you can camp here. Yeah, it looks pretty good, though. You want to get an early start, I suppose, and I don't know. 4G reception, or you can use this as your base to do the brake range. Yeah. Power Let's go power. across the bridge! Oh, there you go. Power and unpowered. So if you want to camp out here, well, you can. Oh, so you don't need a parks pass to do this one because it's privately owned. But you need a parks pass to do the rest of it. Right, okay. So, this, we're, doing oh, so the, we're doing this one here. We're doing the Chasm Walk. It's only a small one. Oh, yeah. 2.4 round trip. That's my sort Light, of walk. relatively easy, and they're saying it's wheelchair accessible. 30 minutes. Yeah. You can also do cultural tours out here, which is obviously extra, but... Yeah, that'd be pretty cool too, that. I reckon. And there's a kiosk. Coffee. coffee? Is it time for coffee? You just had coffee! Oh well, they do ice cream and stuff here, so you never yeah. know if you no. behave. If you yeah. behave, that's no it. No ice cream. Too no. cold. Too cold, that's it. Who, who brought Vegemite sandwiches? We could just go have a pop chicken <laughs> and a burger. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, let's go and suss this out. Oh, yeah. Mum's checking out the breakfast menu at the moment. Kids' lunch menu. Right. 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 Five fifty for nuggets and chips. That's yeah, alright. Chicken burger. You know, one thing they don't have, eh? Snitty. They don't have <laughs> snitties. <laughs> oh, well. Alright, I'm going to take right. your wallet and I'll go and Alright, let's go. That's why I didn't bring it. No, you forgot it. You had every intentions of bringing it in case there was some places we could do it. Um, no, we um, forgot. Halfway uh, out here, run. Bring the drink. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> can't believe I bloody forgot it. <laughs> but anyway. Daddy. I want to go with Mummy. No, most of the places I'm pretty sure that it doesn't allow drinks. So. <laughs> We're just going to have to look at it from. Oh, side of things. That's it. Instead of a bird. <laughs> Just saying, we're getting back close to nature. In nature, we find ripper snippers. Oh, hell yeah, I need a new <laughs> I need a new ripper. Sorry, what was that? I'm not in a shitty mood. 30 bucks. <laughs> so I just informed him I on what it costs to actually get in here. So a family pass, a family pass, a family pass to get in to do this walk was 30 bucks. It's like a dollar if you're under seven. I think it's seven dollars for under 12. What? I think it's like 12 bucks for an adult or 10 bucks for a concession, but we don't have that at the moment. But either way, it's like, yeah, it's a bit rich. I'm going to stay positive though. We I'm have to. Because we have never done this before, and I reckon that's the run one of the reasons we didn't do it last time was yeah. because it cost money. Apparently, yeah. Dad said the pump is natural. It's but, not. <laughs> oh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a pump going to the stream, stream to obviously pump the water down. Don't say so, things unless you know the whole story. That's it. So we've seen a pump and we've seen a whippersnipper, which was, which was part of the original formation of the land. All right, quiet now. Oh, no, it's pretty nice though. I do like it. That's why I didn't mention it yet. I was waiting until the end. <laughs> <coughs> no, you can't, can't go. That's one that takes eight and a half hours, I think. This is so this is part of, of the Lapitarian Trail. I think it's the start of it. Oh, mate, that would be wicked. It would be pretty awesome to do. So I reckon from looking at the board at the start, I reckon you're more or less staying up at the top of the cliffs and you, like the mountains, and you're just walking along there and then you come down and then you go back up. Oh, 
it, it would be pretty cool, but you couldn't do that with kids. It's like a, you could do it all in one day if you wanted to. I don't think, I think yeah. between each one, it's not too bad, but. Yeah. Well, I don't like my chances of doing it because I'm feeling really, really old. And by the time that you kids grow up, I'll be that old that, oh no, you know what? If everyone pays 30 bucks each, they'll <laughs> bitch mine it. What do you reckon, Ollie? Amazing. It's pretty good. Yeah. So the one that's compared in Western Australia, I think it's called the Echidna Chasm in the Bungle Bungles. Oh, yeah. And this one, which one do you think is better? The Bungle Bungles. I agree. The Bungle Bungles one, so I think are a little bit better, but this is absolutely beautiful. And I reckon you'd get some pretty good colours as midday comes along. So we finally made it into Stanley Chasm. It is very echoey. Oh, How pretty cool is this? Oh, uh, that's a full off. Full backwards. Now, if you've done the bungles, this is probably the baby version of the bungles. So maybe if you're going up the center, do this first before you do the bungle bungles. It's still pretty pretty. It's very pretty and very spectacular, but when you've done the bungles, this is different, but it's the baby version of a chidna chasm, chasm at the bungle bungles, but still spectacular in its own way. All right, we're off to the next one up the West McDonald Ranges. Ellery Creek Big Hole, this is one of our favorite spots. We've done this probably about <laughs> six years ago, we were working it out, six years ago. So there is just a little walk down to the water hole, which we're doing today. You can camp here, or there is a Dolomite walk, which is 3K, there's a big loop. And they're saying it's a grade three and it will take you about one and a half hours. So where are we, there? We are at. We are here. We are here. We're just going to go and do the walk down to the water hole. You need to go up here and then this Otherwise, one. I remember. you can do a big dolomite walk around here. Yes. But then there's this trail. Yeah, the Lap Interior Trail you can do here. onto the next gorge. Let's go. Yes. Explore. I remember this place, Mum. Yeah, you would have been four. Yeah. And Tori was... Only about four or five months old. Thank God you're walking on your own here. I think she was just, we, we had, had the pram. I think we had the pram. We weren't sure what to expect. This wasn't paid last time. This <laughs> yeah, I reckon it was too. And we didn't have a GoPro. We had the video camera six years ago. Yeah, the old, <laughs> the old VHS video camera. So I'm not sure if we're going to be able to pull that footage and chuck it up here. So let's give you this footage instead. I haven't seen a no drone sign. No, who bought the drone? Uh, that's, it. that's what happens. No, you did. You were going to, but you forgot it. Okay, we've already, we've already started <laughs> that. Oh, look at this. This has got a lot more water in it than it did last time. It does. Yeah, you can see a lot of trees from all the big water. Mm. You can swim in it. But the last time we were here, it was freezing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it still probably yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> I probably would have been smarter to walk down to over there. <laughs> Anything's cold to you though. It's cold. Yeah, so we used, to be, able cold to, as last time, used to be able to walk out there to the water's edge. And over there used to be like a sand bank. There's so much water in it today. You could, 
<laughs> you could probably walk out there in your shoes and socks. Go and touch it again. Ready? Yeah. You remember that cold at Karajini on that last walk we did? Yeah. Wow. That was cold. That's what that is. I think you're just soft. What do you reckon, do? You reckon you go for a swim in there? No. Why not? Because it's cold. Oh, no, you were saying that it was yucky water before. Yeah, it's yucky water. Nah. That's all natural water, mate. That's 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 the bomb. That's I'm nice. holding this gold bomb. We've turned off into the Oka Pits. Is that what it's called? Oka yeah. Pits? I was saying Orca, but it's probably Oka. Can I put when some... you think about it a bit more. So this is only a very short walk. It's only 300 metres. Can I put some Oka on my face? Oh, if there's Oka there, you can. Yeah. So let's go and have a walk. It's only 300 metres from the car park. So we'll go and okay. suss it out. What is Oka? It's this thing Aboriginal is just to use. Yeah. Here we go. There you go, girl. So there's your answer. Do not touch or can't do shit anymore. Remove the ochre. Good reading. Hey, Tori. What does this sign say? Do not dig or remove ochre. Maximum penalty five thousand dollars. Are you gonna go down? Hey, at least. No, take Mike. How much do you think we should find? Five grand. Righty, hey. What do you reckon, D? Bad. Bad. Only because. Only because you wanna put acre on your face and you're not allowed to. You get a five thousand dollars. Yeah, five grand. Might be good though. They're pretty specky. Just ignore her, she's hungry. It's only a 300 metre walk, only a very, very little walk. I said we'll get some lunch when we finish this walk. It will only take us five minutes. I reckon it's taken us 15 minutes because all she's done is take two steps and whinge every second. Now it's going to take her longer to get lunch. It's pretty cool though. All different colours. We are at Ormiston Gorge and Waterhole, so we're only going to do the walk down to the waterhole. We're not going to do um, ghosts. I think there's a ghost gum lookout, <laughs> and then there's another track as well. But we have heard One, that two, three, the bigger two, walk, three. you got to go through waist deep water, which would be quite cool at the moment. And the kids just—they've already had enough. We haven't been doing this enough for a while, so um, yeah, we're just going to walk down to the waterhole. Let's have a look. Yeah, so waterhole, we're just doing that. There was a ghost gum lookout, which I would have, we probably would have done if the kids were in a better mood. Then there's another ghost gum loop, which obviously we're here. The lookout's up to here. Then you could have come back or you got a little loop. There's even a bigger walk too, if you're keen. 
didn't have ferals. There you go, two to three days return. That's Mount cool. Giles. Mount Giles, let's go. Yeah. All right, let's go for a walk down to the waterhole. The ghost gum lookout walk was a grade three, which would have been interesting, but it is getting a bit warm in the sun. Maybe first thing in the morning would have been better. But let me show you where the lookout is. Yeah, just there. It probably would have been pretty specky, but again, it's up, it's in the sun. It's hot in the sun, so. We, we get. We chose not to, so we're gonna go to walk down to the waterhole, aren't we, dear? Yeah, we get an ice cream if we behave. <laughs> yeah, we got a little bit hangry before, didn't we, Tori? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I oh, still Oh, it's beautiful in the shade. Hey? I'm still hungry. Of course you are. Well, good thing you got room for ice cream then, isn't it? Yeah, true. <laughs> All right, let's go see if this one is as cold as Ellery Creek. That we just went to, yeah. and it was really freezing. So we came here again, we were here six years ago, and we sat at the cafe. Jeremy had a blood nose. Oh, I, I just don't know, it's just to remember, you just remember, but also Tori was having the biggest screamy fit. She was only four months old. Yeah. She just could not calm her down, a bit like now. She was probably hungry back then too. Anyway, let's go to look this waterhole. It has been taken over by Discovery Parks. When we were here, what was it, six years ago? It was it was just a campground. Um, now yeah, Discovery Parks bought it and they had it running, but I think it must have got a bit big for its boots. They couldn't keep up with the water supply. So in the end, they've had to temporarily close the campground down because the water Trucking water out here just became too expensive. And Alice Springs is what? 130 Ks away. So um, they're hoping to have it back up and running by next season, in the new year. And they just gotta find a different way, I suppose, of sourcing the water, whether they drill a bore or they just tell people to BYO water and they just supply the minimal amount, enough for, you know, their cabins and their kitchen and drinking water. Then, and toilets and stuff, but probably just yeah, BYO. A lot of other places do, you know. Yeah. Might be, you know, just conditions of it, just don't charge as much for a site. Yeah, anyway. There we go. Oh, well, that's the furthest sort of point you can go along the West Mac until you hit the dirt, which then takes you around to hit the Marini Loop, which takes you around to Kings Canyon. Done that. We've done that before in the that's camper. A, that's a rough road. That's up there of one of the rough roads, I reckon. The Marini Loop when we did it anyway. I don't have, know what it's like now, but I have heard it's not much better. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty rough. But, but oh, six years have passed. We'll probably be ready to do it again. <laughs> oh, well, they started charging national park fees now, so the road will probably be like a, a highway because they invest the money into those those sort of things as well. So. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to wait to see. It's still trying to see where that money. That's the West McDonnell Range. There's heaps more to do along here. We've, we've only scratched the surface. There's heaps of walks out you can do. Um, yeah, you can spend a couple of days out here easy. Yep. Two or three days. But... A lot of the places do have campgrounds. <coughs> Not just Glen Helen, but there's, yeah, Ormiston Gorge and Ellery Creek have both got campgrounds, as well as Stanley Chasm. Mm -hmm. All right, that's it. All right. 
we're going back to back to Alice now and go chill for the Arvo, get ready to head off tomorrow. Hook up and head off. Yep, got a few, probably need to top up a little bit on a few groceries, top the water tanks up and off we go. Alright. I'm just chilling by the pool while the kids are having a swim. Holly's going to go and suss out the water slide. We'll see if she does it. She's a bit worried about the pool that it goes into. She hasn't really done one with a pool at the end before. It's not that bad though. What are you doing, Tori? Tori's just swimming. <laughs> Jeremy's having a rest and we'll see if Holly ends up going down this slide and she's up the top. She thinks it's too cold. Right, yeah, one more thing that we have to check out before we leave Alice Springs. That's the Alice Springs Brewery Company. Never been here before. Yeah, I've been to Alice quite a few times, but never been here. So this is uh, just opposite where we're staying at uh, the uh, Discovery Parks in Alice. One best burger in the NT, so I've been told. So let's go and suss this out. So what did you go with? Uh, I went with the Territory Mid. But what, what have you got? Kills apple cider. Spin it around. Okay. No added sugar, so that's alright. So the, the Hello Sunshine was out of stock. Yeah, so we'll go with Adelaide Hills where we're going to. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And I went with the Territory Mid. That's actually not bad, it's pretty good. You're gonna try the, try the ginger before we go. Yeah, try the ginger beer next, I reckon. I mean. Maybe some pizza tonight. Pizza tonight. Pizza? And it's the dollar wings thing tonight. Oh, dollar too. wings. Bring me my beer, woman. Is that a crack? Oh, Alright, ginger beer. Don't fall in love with it because it's more expensive. Than oh, really? How much was that? That was 12 bucks. 12 bucks? Yep. 12 bucks. <laughs> oh, you feel me? <laughs> Get on your <laughs> 12 bucks. So. Bit of, bit of sarcasm coming out, so it'll be, it'll be five dollars for the drink and seven dollars for the lime. Probably. Oh, let's see. Ginger beer. Oh, I'll stick to the territory mid. Ginger beer at Alice Springs Brewery. I do sell Matt Sozer there if that's not good. Oof. It's good, isn't it? It's pretty good. You want to try? <laughs> Don't like it at twelve dollars a pop. Though. Although you can buy four back for like twenty bucks. Oh, we'll just do that. Yeah, that's all right. I don't really like ginger beer, but that's all right. That's pretty good, aren't you? I'm pretty sure you can get four packs. I know you can have the other one for twenty bucks. Mm. <laughs> 
That's up. That, that's up. That's up there. There you go. Twenty-two dollars for a four pack. Twenty-two bucks for a four pack. <laughs> or a twelve pack is forty-six. How much for a carton? It doesn't say that. Well, was that twelve pack? Twelve pack. So half a carton is forty-six. So it's up there with Matt. It's up there with Matzo's pricing. Mm -hmm. Give me my food. Here oh, here we go. Oh yeah, look at this. Got chicken wings, a dollar each. And the pizza. Oh yeah, that looks alright. It's pretty good. Are you gonna get into it, dirt? Yep. You don't want any pizza? You don't have to have anything if you don't want it, it just means more for me. And me. What do you think, dear? Alright, go on. Put the one. pizza or the chicken? Oh, no, we'll do the pizza first. Take a bite and then take it. Take a chicken wing. Oh, Pretty good. Yeah? Alright, chicken wing. You got me to try a chicken wing. Try a chicken wing. What's the dressing? It's a blue cheese or ranch sauce. Yeah, okay. Then keep that. Keep that. Yeah. Okay. Terrible. Right. Very good. Right. right. They're freaking amazing. They're amazing. I'm gonna get in on. Might have to get more. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're leaving Alice. Did you do this? Yeah. It's been a good couple of days. It's been good. Um, Danny was just, oh, maybe she, we went into a, a servo to get some margarine because we were low on margarine. And she's coming back with nothing, so I said they don't have nothing. So looks like uh, there's no margarine until we get to Cooper Petey. No you know. toast. You can have, there's enough for probably. One more set of toast, but that's probably about it. it. Mm. No, but don't. Yeah, don't, don't say that. <coughs> bites. No margarine. Oh, there was margarine, but yeah. I wasn't paying eleven dollars for it. <laughs> oh, eleven bucks. It's taking the piss, and then it's taking the piss. That's taking the piss. I hate it when places take the piss. That's just not good. Anyway, can we do without it? Or do, do you want to... Well, we're stopping at a couple of servos along the way to fill up, so we'll just see how we go. Yeah, it'll be $15 instead yeah. of $11. We'll see how we go. Alright, let's leave Alice Springs. Let's go.